Hey everybody. So as you know, we had a snow day last week where we chose not to go with virtual learning on that day. Since then, a lot of people have been asking, what are we going to do to make up that day? What's it going to look like? So that's what this video is about. And I'm going to share with you the district plan moving forward for the rest of the year. So right here, we're looking at this year's school district calendar. It tells us when we start and stop, days off, that good stuff. So as we've spoken previously, the end of the school year is now going to be on June 7th, the last day of classes, with a record keeping for teachers then being on June 8th. Now, we did even with this new snow day that came up last week, we did not want to extend it any further past that. And so what we're doing instead is we're going to be doing virtual days for the makeup happening on other days off that we've already got planned in our school calendar. Now, when we look at the school district calendar, we'll see that the next day that all of the students district-wide are scheduled to not have school is February 10th. That's because this is a teacher in-service day. That's what the IN stands for. That Now, students usually don't have anything to do on a teacher in-service day, but teachers certainly do. They're training, they're learning, they're working, and doing things to make sure that we're doing our best for you. Now, what we're going to be doing to make up that snow day from last week is that February 10th is now also going to be a work day for students. That means that that's going to be a virtual learning day. Students will work from home on assignments we give you. Most of you will be working over your Chromebooks and working with that, submitting them through Schoology, and then we'll do the same things that we would normally do on a virtual learning day on a already scheduled day off so that we don't have to add any more time to our calendar. Now, while that answers the question of when the snow day makeup is going to be, now let me talk about how that's going to look specifically right here at AMS. Because grades six through eight and grades four and five are doing different things, I'm going to deal with those separately. So right now, we're here we have grades six through eight. So the format for grades six through eight is that online assignments will be posted on Schoology for you to be able to be working on on February 10th. All of your teachers will go over with you ahead of time in your classes before February 10th so you know exactly what it looks like and you know exactly what to do. What that also means is that everyone will need to bring their Chromebooks home on February 9th so that you're ready to do it. This works much better on a planned in-service day instead of a just a random snow day because this way we know exactly when it's going to be and we can make sure that everyone's bringing their Chromebooks home. So this format is going to set us up for more success there. Now, there's also an accountability aspect. The assignments that are being posted on Schoology are going to be graded. That means the work done online on that day will count in the gradebook. So if you skip it, your grade's going down. Now, you're going to have time to make up that assignment, and you'll be able to do that as it goes, but best way to do is the work's there, get it done on the day you have to do it, and then it's taken care of. So, final thing to note is that the teachers will have office hours, in case you have any questions about the assignment or you'd like some support, that we're now noted the teachers are already working and doing other things, like I talked about earlier, but we're going to give them specific time to be set aside and they'll let you know when that's going to be so that you can go ahead and connect with them if you'd like. So they will, the teachers will let you know on their class Schoology page when they'll be available. They'll also let you know, also on the Schoology page, how, what the best way to connect with them will be. That might be email, that might be Zoom, or however that goes. Again, they'll go over that with you ahead of time, but just to make sure, this is the format of how the online learning is going to look like on February 10th for grades 6 through 8. Now, turning our attention to how grades 4 through 5 will work, it's going to be a little bit different. So, returning back here to the district calendar, you'll note that grades 4 and 5 don't have any school on grades on February 9th and February 10th, so there's a little more time to work with. That means that all the preparation for the virtual day is going to be going home on February 8th so that they're ready for that to happen on February 10th. Another change for grades 4 through 5 is that instead of working on Schoology and on Chromebooks for that virtual day workup makeup is that the assignments will be sent home as packets. This is similar to that's being done at the other, other elementary grades in the district. So, as with earlier, the teachers will go over with the packets so you'll know what to do ahead of time. And they'll send those packets home with you on February 8th so that you're ready to do those on February 10th. Now, if you do those early, nobody's going to complain about that. But just you know, that's the schedule. 
Now, again, like in grade six or eight, the accountability factor is that the assignments being sent home will be graded. They'll count in the grade book. They'll, your teachers will work with you about what you need to get that work done. And so, and you'll have, again, some time to make up if needed. Now, as with all te learning things, you might need some additional support. So your teachers are also going to have office hours on February 10th to be able to help you out. We're going to set some side apart from their schedule so they can do that. They'll let you know ahead of time what that's going to look like and how to connect with them. So now that we know what February 10th is going to look like, let's finish up by sharing the makeup plan for future snow days, if any more come this school year. Returning here to the district calendar, you'll notice that we have two more in-service days that are scheduled, March 3rd and April 7th. If we have any additional snow days above and beyond this, we will repeat the same process on those in-service days. That means that if we call a snow day on that day itself, you don't do anything. You stay home, read a book, have some hot cocoa, make a snowman, whatever you do, that day that if schools cancel that day is just exactly that. However, what that means is if we have the next snow day that comes after this one, means that March 3rd will now be a virtual work day for all of our students, the same way we're doing in February. And if another snow day after that falls, that'll be on April 7th. So you get the idea. Basically what this means is that we're choosing to do our virtual work on days that are going to be set aside that we know it's coming and we'll be better prepared for it. So if you have any questions, please go ahead and talk in your classes right now to sort out what I just shared with you and get that set for everybody. All right, you take care.